Uh oh, who'd you bring? Who'd you bring? Kevin Morgan. Kevin Lace, nice to meet you. Sporting a suit and tie, Kevin Lace looks every part of a buttoned up businessman. Good. All right. But rewind. In his past life, the 40 year old was more comfortable in attire of a different sort the uniform of a warrior. The door of opportunity opened, you know, literally. In September of 2001, the Connecticut native was enrolled at James Madison University. 9-11 occurred. My friend's father, uh, Bruce Eagleson, was killed in the Trade Center. We do have somebody on the way. Following the terrorist attacks of September the 11th, Kevin's life took a drastic turn with one decision at a military recruitment office. The Navy door was open, walked in, um, saw a seal poster on the wall, and I knew that was it. In 2002, Kevin would leave college and join the U.S. Navy. His sights set on being the best, the Navy SEALs. Months of brutal air, land, and sea training lay ahead. Only 15% of would-be SEALs succeed. Kevin would endure. It's the most fun you never want to have again. He would become a member of the Navy's vaunted SEAL Team 3. And it's something that challenged me more so than I'd ever been challenged in my life. In 2006, Kevin's team would be deployed to Ramadi, the epicenter of the insurgency during Operation Iraqi Freedom. You know, we would get time sensitive targets where they'd pop up and, hey, you know, you got 30 minutes, be there. So we'd wake up usually in the later on afternoon, start that mission planning cycle, and then operate at night. As a sniper, medic, and breacher, Kevin and his team would be sent on highly classified and dangerous missions. It would be the first of two deployments to Iraq for the sailor. For me, that's why you get paid. That's why you join, that's why you do your job. Kevin would eventually leave the Navy, but the SEALs never really left Kevin. His real life experiences would lead him to an unexpected role in Hollywood. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here's your turn. Oh. You got one more. I got one more, all right. Hey, I showed the tapes to Clint. Boy's damn good, get him a job. And that's how I ended up on American Sniper. Two weeks I was in Morocco filming and also technical advising. It was a wild story. It was crazy. During the production of American Sniper, the film's director, screen legend Clint Eastwood, urged Kevin to play himself in the movie. To sit there in Morocco and be at the bar and Clint elbows up to you and drink a beer and he's like, what's up? <laughs> it's like, hold on, who, yeah, really? It was a great experience. It was definitely something that, you know, I never thought I'd find myself in that position. Who would? The film, which details the life and death of SEAL Team veteran and Kevin's friend, Chris Kyle, was nominated for an Academy Award. Chris was an average guy in the platoon. Um, he had an extraordinary skill when it came to working a uh, bolt action rifle at extreme long distances. Kevin says serving as a technical advisor, getting it right on the big screen was essential. My job was simply to help out where I could and make it as authentic as possible. Over my shoulder, he's now about 6'5", 275 pounds. <laughs> Recently, Kevin returned to Virginia, where he appeared as the keynote speaker at the Boy Scouts Gallup in Richmond. Leadership is an active word. You have to actively lead and teach others. Um, and I enjoy that role, and, and service is definitely very high on my priority list. Kevin works as a physician's assistant in Florida, helping veterans, law enforcement officers, and active duty military to reach their physical best. I don't think I'd be as good of a father, as a provider, as a um, you know, business owner or as a, as a person if I had, had not I had those experiences um, because they, they made me work. Kevin Lace, a SEAL team member whose selfless service to others and his nation led him from the classroom in Virginia 20 years ago. So much awesomeness right here. To the hell of war and on to Hollywood and back. To be a good person, it is learned behavior. You know, you have to be a good role model and you have to serve others and, and be an example. Kevin is married to Lindsay Lace, who hails from King George County. The couple has two children and they live in Florida. Kevin is also the author of the New York Times best-selling book, The Last Punisher, which details his experiences in Ramadi.